It's Saturday afternoon, about two o'clock or something. Jen's gonna be home soon, so. Up oh, here comes Weenie. Hey, Kayim. See how much. Watch, it'll be some form when we fill out. <laughs> Oh, it's coloring paper, so that's a good idea. Ooh. How much? Thousand twenty-nine. That's the biggest check I've made so far. It's the only check you've made so far. Yeah, I mean, like out of working. Oh. Like, like the biggest check I've made before this is like eight hundred bucks. All right, that's great. You are rich. Yay! So, anyways, I had to get going out. I think. I'm gonna work on the roof. I'm kind of wanting to watch Planet Rapes here. I just put it on, and uh, I could really just sit here and watch that. But I need to start working on that roof. It's actually like, while it's warm out, the putty will come off easier, but it's also hot. So that sucks. But we'll go, go get started on that, I guess. <sighs> all right, so I already got all the caulking and everything. So the first thing I need to do is go and get all the old stuff up. Let's get this over here. These are the best ladders for an RV. They fold up into hardly no space. They're light. The worst part about them is they flex on you, which makes you kind of nervous. Paint one of these would be better to use, but all I got is a cooking one, so. Alright. Look at the flex. Alright, so you can see here what I'm dealing with. It's pulled up a little bit already. This is gonna be a freaking nightmare. Anyways, let's take a look at the roof up here and see what we're dealing with. <clears throat> So, this front area is what I'm worried about today. That's what I'm gonna work on. Let's see. That's gonna need to be done. They're all starting to crackle. Some RCA connectors there or something. That one's been recently done. I feel like it could be done better though. Maybe we'll redo that one, but that'll be one of our last ones to worry about. See, this is a rubber membrane here. It goes over the RV. You don't want to put any cuts in that. The idea is just to get this up. And we'll reapply. So we're just gonna go nice and slow and take our time. So we don't make no mistakes. All right. And some of it you get with your tool, but some of it's just best to try to pull up with your hand, you know? You really just gotta try not to ruin this membrane part, this rubber part. We don't wanna screw that up. We wanna get as much of this old stuff up as we can. So we're going to lay a nice new layer down. I feel like it's not st didn't stick that well, but we weren't leaking either. You don't want to wait till you're leaking to address this either, so. I gotta do this. Some people say every five years. Of course, tube I think says like every 20 years. Of course, they're gonna say that shit. Okay. 
Okay. That's pretty darn good. I'm gonna touch up a few areas. We'll call it good, and then we'll put new stuff on. Have you started it all yet? The idea was to get the wild stuff done more than up here. Pulling it off, I'm going to take a break and let this plastic kind of shrink a little bit, hopefully, before I put new stuff down. Oh my gosh! Ugh. All right. I swear, every time I stand up here, I feel like I'm gonna break it. it kind of flexes a little bit. Let's get the ways down. See, on camera, that don't look far down. I guarantee you. But up here, it looks like a thousand feet. Supposed to be good to get this all fresh and done. Definitely gonna take a break. See, little issue right there too. That's gonna probably use like a clear epoxy. Clear caulking. There's a wide apart. No problem. The ladder is a flex. Looks like I'm using a stupid metal with wet noodle. Alright, break time. Hey, we're going to do the caulking. Here here's the stuff we're going to use this is the stuff you want to use right here this is the good stuff so this one looks a little broke we'll use it first put it on very generously i think i'm going to run a bead across the top all the way in the thing i'll show you and i'll come back and overlap it where it is the other one Okay, I want a nice big opening here. I took off the old stuff. I wanted to let it sit because I had to pull on the membrane a little bit. So I'm hoping the membrane was able to heat up and retract. And it doesn't look like it did that very much. I'm kind of thinking I want to run a bead all on here to start with. That's uh, it's, it's not very pretty. I mean, I could make it look a little nicer, I suppose, but it's damn roof. No one's going to see it. Anyways, it's had time to harden. This stuff takes about a week to harden. So that's much better than it was. No cracks. The main thing is it sealed up both sides of this real nicely. And uh, I'm happy with that. I'll go with that. I'm going to do some more here, over here, and these other guys. Let's see if I can zoom in. I don't want to climb up here. It's wet. I'm not the most coordinated person. So, those will have to be addressed here in the near future, but I got to get my truck back together first, so I'll call it quits here for now.